Russell Katz. I'm the architect and developer of this project, Elevation 314 in Washington, D.C. And I'm Amy Arnold. I'm a landscape architect. As a developer, I had three primary goals with this project, one of which uh, came from my architecture roots. I wanted to make a beautiful building. Uh, on the developer side, I was compelled on a very personal level to make it financially feasible. And I've always had a very keen interest in the environment. So there were very high bars set as well for the environmental qualities of the building, which ended up including geothermal, HVAC, bamboo flooring, high ceilings, a location directly across the street from a metro station, bike parking for all of the tenants, and a great number of other green features. But well, one of the greenest features of the, of the project is the courtyard garden, which contains a green roof that might surprise you. Let's go take a look. So now we're in the courtyard at Elevation 314, which is the heart and soul of the building. It's um, the result of very functional decisions that had to be made to counteract the noise from the nearby trains and buses. We needed to capture and create some quiet space for which people could, um, could live around. The result ended up being a beautifully landscaped courtyard. The, uh, the functional aspects of it beyond being a quiet space are that it manages storm water. So that all the water that falls here in a rainstorm gets absorbed by the plants and gets absorbed by the, the soils and filtered before it ever makes it to the city's stormwater system, which makes us a very good neighbor for the, uh, the, the waterways in the area. We had a real challenge when we uh, designed the courtyard. If you can imagine a time when uh, there was uh, no building uh, on this site, uh, there were likely trees and plants here that were part of a larger watershed that um, just automatically absorbed uh, rain as it fell and cleansed it before it uh, went back into the rest of the watershed. Um, what we've done here with the planters, the green roof planting, and the bioretention is to try to recreate some of those same conditions. We have a, a, you know, clean, slow um, water that's a proper temperature returning uh, to the local watershed. So this is the green roof here in the courtyard. So one of the more uh, remarkable things about this green roof is that it's not on top of the, the building. It is on top of the parking garage, which is behind us, behind this big wall that goes all the way down about another 10 feet underground. And as a result, it's in the, the base level of the courtyard. It looks like the floor of the courtyard. Uh, early in the design process, we actually looked at doing a thin green roof on top of the, the major part of the building. I was very excited about that. I thought it was going to be a fantastic green amenity, which it would have been. But somewhere along the way, the fact that it would be out of sight and therefore in many ways out of mind, and the fact that we needed more biological, more, more plant and ground mass down here in the courtyard in order to satisfy our, our superior goal of having all the stormwater management happen on site with bioretention by natural processes. We decided to move the green roof from the top of the building down here into the courtyard and to have that be the use of the uh, garage roof space. So there are two or three kinds of shrubs in the roof, uh, in, the, in the green roof, as well as several uh, species of native perennial flowers. Being an architect, I hadn't spent a tremendous amount of time thinking about plants and how they affect buildings. But in the design process and discussing what happens here in the courtyard and how the plants form private space, how they accentuate entrances to apartments or entrances to the building, or how, how privacy works was all really fascinating to me. And, and Amy's, you, you have such a great sense of detail and proportion. It's always a pleasure to imagine people living here and um, in really adding to their quality of life by doing things like, uh, you know, putting things that bloom right by the walk that have scent. So every drop of water that falls on the building comes down one of these downspouts and into these runnels that are integrated with the sidewalk so that you can see the path of the water as it makes its way into the rock box and from there into the garden. 
Uh, the rock box serves a really important uh, purpose. Uh, as the water comes down the runnel and hits the rock box, the rock, rock box slows the water down, distributes it into the green roof, and then allows the, the plants that are here to uh, absorb the water, and um, not only re by, thereby reducing the amount of runoff, but um, the species are also chosen for their ability to um, absorb different um, pollutants out of the, out of the roof runoff. Um, in the very unlikely event that uh, the green roof can't handle the amount of water that it receives from the downspouts or from you know, a, a, a downpour, um, these two overflows here would take care of that. Um, the water would come out this hole and again drop into another se series of uh, trench drains, run across the sidewalk into this rock box, which again, as you remember before, um, slows the water down and disperses it, and then it would end up in the bioretention area. At the far end of the bioretention uh, is an entry um, where all of the water from the parking lot comes off um, of the site as well and into the bioretention. So everything from the building, everything from the sidewalks in the, in the uh, courtyard, and everything from the parking lot that's running off is being treated on the site. So all of the stormwater that is uh, stormwater runoff that is produced by Elevation 314 is treated here in the, at the courtyard. Of course, early in the planning process, when we uh, determined that we wanted the green roof to be a part of the bioretention, we found that uh, the city had never permitted one of those before. So with the help of Katrine, Katrine Schultzbarth, who was the uh, the green roof consultant for the project, we had a series of meetings with uh, the stormwater people at Department of Health. That's right. And they were very keen as well on the idea of integrating green roof structures into the bioretention facilities at, at, every, at, at buildings around town. So we worked with them and as a result, this green roof is the first one in Washington, D.C. that is officially doing stormwater management as part of a property-wide system. So thank you for coming to see our courtyard and our green roof. Uh, isn't it nice to know you don't have to be on top of a building to have a green roof?